Hello, my wonderful students. Today, we're going to start a new lesson for math, adding whole numbers, lesson 2-3. Now, we are going to learn how to add whole numbers with big digits and with smaller digits. We are going to start with lesson 2.3, where we're going to add whole numbers with three digits, and then lesson 2.4, where we are going to add whole numbers with more than three digits. Let's get started. When we add numbers, my grade four students, we always start on the one side. You remember our place value digits? We have the hundreds, we have the tens, and we have the ones. So we always start with the ones. We add, as you can see on the tape, on the, on the picture next to me, six plus three, which is nine. You add the ones digit. When you are done adding the ones digit, you start with the tens digit. The tens digit is five plus eight equals 13. When we add 13, we put the 3 up and you always have to carry the 1, uh, you, you put the 3 down and you carry up the 1. We're done with the tens, we go to the hundreds. We add 7 plus 5, which is 12, and you add the extra 1, which equals to 13. So again, we will repeat the direction. When we are adding the whole numbers, we always start, first of all, with the 1s, then with the tens, and then with the hundreds. Always remember, we do not start with the hundreds. We always start with the ones. Okay. When adding whole numbers, we need to follow the following directions. You always need to set up the problem by writing the units under units. You should have the ones with the ones, the tens with the tens, and the hundreds with the hundreds. You need to add each column separately, beginning at the top of the units column. If the sum of any column is two or more digits, write the unit digits in your answer and carry the remaining digits to the top of the next column to the left. Add any carry digit above the column with that column. So as we said over here, we have, uh, we practice the number 1,891 plus 298. We put the digits of ones with the ones, the tens with the tens, the hundreds with the hundreds, and the thousands with the thousands. We added them up and we practiced it and we found the answer. Now again, they also added 5,765 plus 6,341, which we got the following number as well. Now always remember, if you have more than one digit, Carried, you need to carry it above, and then you move to the next place value. Okay, I need you guys to take out your blue copy book, your, I mean your math copy book, and go ahead, write the following number. 4,285 plus 124. Make sure that when you put the numbers, the ones are with the ones, the tens are with the tens, the hundreds are with the hundreds, and so on. Let's get started. You start with 5 plus 4, which is 9. 8 plus 2, which is 10. You put the 1 up and the 0 down. 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 1 is 4. Then you have 4 plus 0 is 4. Fantastic job. You always need to start with the ones. Always remember that you start with the ones. You do not start the other way around. Okay, as you can see, since over here you have the following number, 15 plus 9 equals 24, we know that 15 is 1 tens, 5 ones, plus 9 ones equals 1 tens and 14 ones, which equal to 2 tens and 4 ones. As you can see the following, they have the number 28 plus 39. How did they start it? They always started it from the one side. What are my ones? 8 plus 9. Fantastic job. 8 plus 9, which equals to 17. They carry the 1 up because they are more than two-digit number. 1 and 7, they put the 1 up and then 7 down. Then they added 1 plus 2, which equals to 3, and 3 plus 3, which equals to 6. Fantastic job. Now what I want you guys to do when you go back home is to open up your math book and go ahead and start solving the following pages in 2-3, which is page 47. Please always remember, 
Miss Diana's rule, which is always start with the one side and never in the other way around. Thank you for listening, and I hope that you enjoyed the lesson. Love you all.